Welcome to Malifaux University. 203. Tokens and Pass Tokens. As discussed in the previous video, markers go on the mat because they are for special events and happenings on the playing area. Tokens denote special events off the mat, usually regarding your models. While many models and crews create specialized tokens for specific purposes, one universal token is the pass token. Pass tokens balance out gameplay so that each player has an equal number of activations, even if they don't have the same number of models on the table. During the start phase of each turn, you and your opponent both count how many models you each have on the table. Whoever has fewer models gets as many pass tokens as the difference between the crews. Naturally, this number is likely to change from turn to turn. For example, the Dreamer and Lady Justice are in an encounter, and it's the start phase of turn 3. The Dreamer's crew has 5 models, and Lady Justice's crew has 7. The Dreamer gets 2 pass tokens. Pass tokens are used in 3 ways. The first is to literally pass on your turn. We'll discuss the activation phase at length in the 300 series, but essentially, you and your opponent take turns each activating a model until you both run out of models. In this Dreamer Lady Justice game, if the Dreamer wins initiative and activates first, Lady Justice will get to activate her fifth, sixth, and seventh models back to back because the Dreamer will already be out of models. To avoid this, the Dreamer can choose to discard pass tokens during the game to force Lady Justice to take another activation. In this way, he evens out the gameplay and has a chance to activate models later in the turn. Keep in mind that if a crew summons a model to the playing area, the opposing crew immediately gains a pass token that can be used in that turn or held onto for later. The second way pass tokens are used is in the start phase of a turn. If you hold onto your pass tokens through the end of a turn, you get to add however many you have to your initiative flip at the start of the following turn. Once they are added to your initiative flip and someone has one initiative, you discard them all and then recount models to see who gets pass tokens in this new turn. For example, let's say the Dreamer did not use his two pass tokens in turn three. He goes into turn four with a plus two to his initiative flip. He flips a seven and Lady Justice flips an eight. If neither of them cheats the initiative flip, Dreamer adds two to his card for a total of nine, giving him the choice of initiative in turn four. He then discards those two pass tokens, and they both count their models to determine how many pass tokens are needed in this turn. The third way to use pass tokens is for special game effects. Remember Captain Zip dropping piano markers? This action drops one piano marker, but if he discards one or two cards or pass tokens, he can drop one or two more piano markers. The Bellhop Porter has the accomplice ability that says when it is done with its activation, Another nearby model can discard a card or a pass token to immediately activate. Most models do not have actions or abilities involving pass tokens, but it's worth paying special attention when they do. Other models can create and use other tokens for various purposes. No matter what tokens you or your opponent may use, however, you need some way of keeping track of them. In the app, it's a simple matter of a few taps. If Captain Zip's infamous crew is in an encounter with Jacob Lynch's Honeypot crew, Zip better be ready to deal with the brilliance tokens Lynch hands out like heroin. They really are. If Earl Burns needs to receive a brilliance token, I tap on Add Condition Slash Token under his name. This pulls up the complete list of tokens available in Malifaux. These are all highly specialized according to the models and crews that create them, so it is likely you won't see most of them. Select Brilliance from the Tokens list, and now he has Brilliance plus one. If I need to increase or decrease the number of tokens he has, I just tap the plus or minus signs. But probably the plus sign. Another very common way for players to keep track of tokens is by simply writing on their sleeved cards with a wet erase marker. I advise against using a dry erase marker as it will eventually stain the sleeve and make it difficult to see through. Be careful handling your cards once you've written on them, though. It's easy to smudge or accidentally erase what you've written. This can also be a handy way of keeping track of a model's health. The third way of dealing with tokens is with a physical token of some kind. These numbered aquarium rocks serve as brilliance tokens for Jacob Lynch and his crew, while these little plastic lips serve as sin tokens for Lust, one of the Crossroads Seven. 
It's always more fun if your tokens thematically represent your crew, but when you're just starting out, make them out of paper or felt and get to playing. Tokens do not necessarily go on the playing area by the models that carry them, but you may do so if it doesn't clutter the board or become a hindrance to gameplay. You may be better off placing them on the model's cards beside the playing area, but that's between you and your opponent. That's the overview of tokens and pass tokens. Pick up a printable set of all the markers and tokens you need to play Malifaux in the War Game Vault. If you haven't already, join our Patreon for early, ad-free access to all new content, and be sure to visit the Malifaux University gift shop for the latest in Malifaux-themed shirts, hoodies, drinkware, and more. Links are in the notes below. And remember, play friendly games, keep it simple, and have fun. Thank you.